It's true, I trained ChatGPT to write my YouTube scripts for me. Sounds crazy, right? But here's the thing, after publishing over 250 YouTube videos, I realized I was spending way too much time on scripting my videos. So I decided to create my own custom GPT to write my YouTube scripts for me. It does this for me in under five minutes per video, and I'm gonna show you how you can do this too. So let's dive in. Now, first things first, AI is a tool to help you speed up this process and not a replacement of you. In fact, I recently went a little too ham <laughs> with AI and it actually affected my channel. So I actually was like, wow, cool. I'm doing the script writing with AI. So why not try AI for my thumbnails and my CTRs plummeted. So I actually personally, based on my experience, would not recommend that. And I'm not doing that going forward on my channel. I also even tried a video that was fully AI generated. That was not me. And I showed it to my students and they were like, no way, don't do this. So thank you to those students for being honest. And this channel will remain being the real Molly. So after experimenting with AI, I have really learned again that AI is an assistant. It can help save you time, save you money, but it is not here to replace you and it is not here to be used as a replacement. People follow you because they like you, your story, your experience, the fact that you're human. <laughs> So when I say I trained a custom GPT, I really took the time to make sure that that custom GPT was trained on me, my words, my experience, my past videos. And I'm going to share with you exactly how I'm doing that. And that is how my scripts have been able to remain really good and top notch is because they are quite literally just trained from previous things that I have done. So to simply just replicating what I have already done, and then I'm adding final touches to it, but it has saved me so much time. Oh my goodness. It has been life changing. And I have actually shared this with my upper tier mastermind profitable creator collective and their minds have been blown too. They've been able to to write their scripts in way less time. So I'm super excited to share this with you. Now I'm about to dive into how I actually trained my custom GPT bot, because this is the most important part. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there talking about AI, ChatGPT, custom bots, all these things, but they don't really talk about how to actually best train it. And what you might not know is the training is actually what makes the bot good. Anyone can go into ChatGPT and be like, write me a YouTube script, but it's going to suck <laughs> unless you train it super, super well. And what you're going to notice is one of the things I talk about is that I train it on my exact YouTube script template. So I want to give that to you guys for free in this video, because that is what you're going to use to actually train your bot. It's going to give you a format for your script. It's going to know what different elements and formatting and everything should go into the script to actually write the video script. So again, I want to give that to you for free. You can download it for free now in the link in the description below this video. Okay. Again, the real magic happens when you actually train your GPT. Again, if you just go into chat GPT and you're like, write me a YouTube script, like it's going to suck because it's using just all the random materials online. So it's not going to sound like you. It's not going to say the things that you would say. It's not going to be trained on your story and your experience. So I'm really going to dive deep into how I trained my GPT to actually write good <laughs> YouTube scripts. So not just to save me time and write crappy scripts, but to write good scripts. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is go to chat GPT. Okay. And I think you do have to pay for the paid version. I think it's like $25 a month, totally worth it for this. So then what you're going to want to do once you're logged into chat GPT is click on GPTs and then my GPTs. And then you're going to be able to click the plus sign or new GPT. It might've changed since last time I was in there, but basically what you're trying to do is go into chat GPT and create your own custom GPT. Okay. So once you're there, there is going to be on the left-hand side where you can actually upload materials. It will say like, what is the name of this GPT? Like what's the description? And it will actually let you upload files. So go ahead and name your GPT what you want. I think I named mine something like YouTube script generator or something like that. Right? So go ahead and name it however you want. And then in the description, I just simply put what it was. I was just like this bot, I'm going to train to write my scripts for me or something like that. But the real magic comes in the files you are going to upload. And I think you're limited to 10 to 20 files. So just keep that in mind. So the first file you are going to want to upload, in my opinion, is my YouTube script template, because that way the GPT is actually trained on when it writes the script for you, it's going to write it in that format. So it's going to give you back, you know, the title, the description, the hook, the meat of the video, the outro, like every single piece of the script 
script because it's going to be trained on the actual script template. Now, the next thing you want to do, and this is huge. Okay. <laughs> the next thing you want to do is go to all of your YouTube videos. And yes, this is going to take time. And if you have a way to speed this up that I don't know about, put it in the comments below. I'm sure there's some wizard uh, tech engineer genius out there who knows how to do this faster than me. So go ahead and share it below. But what you wanna do is go to all your videos, click on the description of each video, and then it will say show transcript. And you're gonna wanna copy every single transcript from all your YouTube videos and paste them all into one Word document. Because again, we are limited to like 10 to 20 uploads for training your GPT. So I went and did this for all 250 plus of my YouTube videos. Like I think it took me maybe 30 30 to 60 minutes total, but it was so worth it. Okay. So I pasted all those scripts into a word document and called it like Molly's YouTube scripts or something like that. And then what I did was I went into the GPT where I can train it and I actually uploaded that file. This is going to be so important because this is going to allow the GPT to be trained on what you talk about, your frameworks, how you speak, like the wording you use, your personality, the frameworks you've taught. And of course, the more videos you have, the better this is going to get so you can continue updating it over time. And if you're a brand new baby YouTuber with no past scripts, well, it is what it is, right? <laughs> Things are gonna get easier as you go. And so you're not gonna be able to upload any past scripts if you don't have them. But the best thing is to get started and then continue adding them over time. Okay, now the next one I'm about to share is an idea that I recently had and I just started training my GPT on this and I'm so freaking excited about it because this works whether you have past YouTube videos or not. And it also allows you to train it on new things you might wanna create videos about that you haven't already created videos about. So I was walking the other day and I had this really cool idea. I was like, okay, I go on about two 30 to 60 minute walks every single day with my dog. So I was like, okay, what if I take my cell phone and I click on voice notes and as I'm walking, I record stories and teachings. So I recorded, you know, the story about the first digital product that I launched. I, I recorded a story of this specific ebook that I launched. I recorded a story with a bunch of different mistakes I've made in business. And I ended up at the end of the walk with like 10 different voice notes of different stories. And then what I did, because I learned the hard way that you can only upload so many files is I went and I took those files and I made them all into one file. So, so you could probably use like GarageBand for this. And then I uploaded this to my GPT to train it now on all these voice notes, stories, teachings, like new ideas that I've been having. So what's cool is this video script was actually generated with my custom bot. <laughs> and what's cool is this segment where I talk about the voice notes, that was actually an idea I had with voice notes that I voice noted <laughs> to my GPT. And by the way, if you wanna not only learn how to grow on YouTube, but how to actually monetize your channel big time using digital products, so how to create them, how to sell them, how to automate them for consistent income, then I would love to invite you to my free on-demand workshop. It is one of the first links in the description below this video. Okay. Now the next thing I did when you're editing your GPT or training it, there's again, the name section, the description, and then there's the instructions section. Okay. So what I did in the instructions section, and I'm actually reading this right here, so I don't mess it up. I put all YouTube scripts must follow the most current freedom creator template structure each script includes video title, description, researched outlier videos to model, thumbnails to model, a compelling hook, five main video content points. It must include our freebie calls to action integrated throughout the video. The first call to action must come after the first main point. And then it says a two to three sentence resolution and a next video CTA format. It is now that you know blank, you might be wanting to learn blank. You know, I say that at all the end of my videos, right? So I'm literally training it on the format. That way, when I go and say, hey, can you help me write a YouTube script? It's going to ask me like, well, what's the title? What do you want to talk about? And, you know, it takes you maybe five minutes to type all like just little bullets in and then you hit enter and it literally formats the entire script start to finish for you. And then underneath that, I actually have a section where it says approved CTAs. So CTAs is call to actions. This is when I promote my freebies in my video to move my viewers to email subscribers, just like I did with the free YouTube script template at the beginning of this video and my free 
workshop. So I actually listed all three of our CTAs and word for word how they should be described and talked about in the video. Now you should be able to save your GPT, go to it and say, hey, can you help me write a YouTube script? And it should be like, yeah, I can help you with that. And it should probably ask you a few questions so that it can fill out the template. But if it doesn't, what you're gonna wanna tell it is what's the title of your video, a few bullet points of what you want to include, and maybe the video at the end of the video that you're going to reference next. Then you're gonna hit enter and it should complete the YouTube script template for you. If not, you might need to tweak some of the instructions or talk to it and say, Hey, I'm really trying to get this. You know, how can I train you better to get this result? So you can complete the training of your GPT. Now, once you have the script written, you're really going to want to use this as a draft, but over time it should get pretty good. Like I honestly don't really even have to tweak mine that much anymore. I think that is largely due to the fact that I have trained it on over 250 different videos and voice notes and all these things. Right. But I do always go back through the script. I look it over. I tweak things. I'm like, oh, maybe I really want to talk about this, or maybe it's not really using my voice and I want to tweak it a little bit. And I also want to talk about how I used to write my scripts fully, like the whole 20 minute video fully word for word. And I don't actually tend to do that anymore. What I tend to do is I do write the hook of the video word for word because it's super important. And then just about every single one of my videos has five main talking points. So I have all five points and then what I want to talk about within that point, but it's mostly bulleted. And then that way I'm able to talk way more easily without having to memorize every single word. But when I did start out as a YouTuber and I wasn't as confident on camera, I did write the scripts out word for word. I memorized one or two lines at a time, delivered them, memorized one or two lines at a time, deliver them. So it's totally up to you how you want to write the script. But again, use this as a draft, go back through it. But either way, this is going to save you so much time and it's only going to get better the more that you use it. And again, if you want to know my whole process of how to grow on YouTube step-by-step, step, all my SOPs, how to create and sell your own digital product for consistent income, then check out my free on-demand training. It is one of the first links in the description below this video. Training my own custom GPT to write my scripts for me has quite literally been life-changing. Changing, okay. It has given me back so much time that I can spend in other aspects of the business because content creation takes up a lot of my time. I make eight videos every single month, but I want more time back to also work on the business and not just in the business. So I really hope that this was helpful for you too. Let me know in the comments below, are you actually going to go and train your own GPT? Was this helpful? Or are you like, I hate AI. That's totally fair too. Let me know your opinions in the comments below. So now that you know how I trained my own custom GPT to write my scripts for me, in my own voice, using my own stories, you might be wanting to learn even more AI hacks that have helped me save so much time and money in my business, but how can you do that? Well, it all starts with watching this next video here because when you pair what you just learned with what's in this video, it's gonna be way more powerful. See you in the next video.